I just did the video on Venezuela and I figured I'd do a, a follow up. Um, like I said at the end of the video, I wanted to do more more videos along the lines of, well, who is the U.S. going to mess with today because they want their crude? Uh, there's been talk recently about, you know, well, last year they had the Coney 2012 and then Obama deployed uh, a couple ground cr uh, ground troops to Uganda saying it was humanitarian and then the uh, you know for those of us in the know that realizes the US government's humanitarian actions are a total joke uh, of course the obvious thing is to say um, well they want the Ugandan crude now I think now that could be true but if, if it is true that they want to go in and get Ugandan crude uh, while framing it as a uh, humanitarian effort um, then they're incredibly foolish if they want to start a conflict there to get uh, full access to that crude oil. They might not even have to depending on uh, what the Ugandan government wants to do. If they want to secure, if the Ugandan government wants to secure the uh, resources for themselves and only export a little bit then maybe they could go in under a humanitarian premise but otherwise um, they would say you know it would be acceptable as long as they get what they want from the uh, exports. But I think it's it would be foolish if they do try and go in uh, if they don't get the deal that they want and start a war there. Now, of course, if, of course, I'm going to say this that I think it would be foolish to start a war because that's not my position. But even from their standpoint, the uh, the globalists that run the U.S. government, um, their pos their position is one of the foreign policy things that they have to absolutely ensure is that crude oil must be available and the price must be kept at a reasonable level. And they've proven they're, go they're willing to go to great lengths and they're willing to cause incredible um, instability and devastation to ensure that the crude flows from the, uh, from the poor countries to the rich countries. And if they go into Uganda, this would be a horrible use of their own resources to their stated goals. Uh, it was like the, uh, the video I did before where I said Iraq was a crude success because they, um, they got what they wanted, uh, which was more crude. But in this case, that wouldn't be the case. So you look at the Ugandan reserves. They're predicting that Uganda has initial reserves, one or two billion barrels of oil. Now, I could be completely wrong. Usually, they underestimate reserves at the, uh, at the start. Maybe the U.S. government doesn't know something that, uh, or maybe they do know something that we don't know. Uh, maybe reserves are 10 or 20 billion barrels of reserves. But if they want to go in and they want to get involved militarily, um, for uh, control of one or two billion barrels, one or two billion barrels isn't anything. If you look at um, how much crude the the world consumes in a given um, a given day, give or take, it's anywhere. It's in the high range of 80 million barrels a day. So let's say it's 90 million barrels a day um, crude. If you say that we uh, have two billion reserves, that's the optimistic case for Uganda right now. Then that would mean Uganda would be able to provide a grand total of about one month of the world oil consumption. So those reserves are negligible. They're certainly not something that the um, that the U.S. government, I think, would want to start a war over. Uh, the only reason to do it would be to deny China access to the reserves. But remember that the Chinese government is beholden to the same business interests that the U.S. government is beholden to. Um, so. I think that Uganda will, even though they might try and uh, get control of crude there through legal means, you know, I want to put that in quote, legals, or legal means, uh, they will maybe try and inf infiltrate the government, bribe a few politicians to pass a bill that says that U.S. will get an export uh, preference, maybe like a most favored nation status. But all in all, I don't think anything's going to happen there with one or two billion uh, barrels of crude, it's just not worth the investment. You know, it's for the U.S. government, it's really about an investment paradigm. If they can go in and they can uh, boost their image with minimal uh, casualties and still get the crude oil, then they may, may do it. But knowing Africa, getting involved in the war in, in there, you're going to get bogged down for a long time and uh, you will not be leaving uh, easily. So, like Iraq was a crude success, they went in there, they saw that the investment opportunity was good, uh, they were investing in American lives of course, and that's the unfortunate reality of it, but with Uganda, it doesn't look like the payoff will be very good for them. Uh, maybe they will go in, uh, but at this point I don't think it's likely that they're going to be petty and say, we're going to start a new conflict, um, 
this year for just two billion barrels. It's not negligible reserves, not profitable for them to do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do more crude oil videos in the future. I don't think I'm going to do another one today, but I figured I would since I mentioned Uganda in the last one, and I kind of wanted to do a quick follow-up on that.